Well, the recent floods have been devastating for a lot of Oklahomans, but it's also had an impact on wildlife. So Dwayne, how, how does flooding impact wildlife? So it can be positive or negative depending on the animal we're talking about. Some things like frogs have had a good year because wetlands have stayed full, lots of habitat for them to breed. Um, other animals like ground nesting birds have really had a tough year. A lot of nests have been lost. So you can expect things like wild turkey to really decline for next year. People have probably noticed all the dead turtles on the road. They're moving a lot, trying to take advantage of new wetlands that uh, have been filled this spring. Um, so just slow down and uh, you know avoid them. And uh, if you see one on a road that's not too busy, you might move it across the road, but mostly just watch out for them and try not to hit them. Lots of people are you know calling in with snakes in their in their yard or, or around their house and uh, you know a lot of wildlife has been displaced so just try to be as tolerant as you can and and remember those snakes are helping control rodents and they're important and um, just you know let them be. In regard and uh, I guess a little bit more on that uh, is it is it possible for you know, uh, areas like in, you know, southeastern Oklahoma where uh, snakes like, venomous snakes like uh, cottonmouths uh, might be moving, you know, in areas that they wouldn't normally be. You, yeah, you might see snakes uh, like cottonmouth a little further from water than you're typically used to, but cottonmouths only occur in extreme eastern Oklahoma. And so most of the snakes that are reported are not venomous. They're just non-venomous water snakes. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that this, you know, with the flooding, they're finding animals that have been displaced that they wouldn't normally else see. But this is also the time of year that's not, you know, not specific to flooding, where people are finding uh, young animals that they probably should just leave alone. Yeah, so lots of calls are coming in now about people finding uh, deer fawns. So if you find uh, an animal, a young animal, just leave it alone. Uh, most likely the parent is nearby trying to feed that animal, and the longer you disturb it, uh, you know, the, the worse off it is for that young animal. And so if, you know, if you if you're, have strong concern that that animal uh, ha has been orphaned, just call the wildlife department, but let the animal stay where it is. Don't, don't pick it up. All right, thanks, Dwayne. If you would like some more information on wildlife and flooding, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.